Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can remove every piece of software on our system completely without any problems. Now I'm talking about your antivirus programs or whether it will be any type of application that you're using. Now I've had quite a few people contact me uh, and saying that they're having issues uninstalling antivirus programs. Well these are always particularly difficult to uninstall and sometimes they can get uh, messed up halfway through the process and then you go to reinstall it again and it don't allow you to reinstall the actual uh, antivirus program itself. Now there is actual uninstallers that you can use uh, that will remove these from the system and as you can see here on this website here we'll put the link in the description for you and you can see these are all the most common types of antivirus programs and uh, these will remove these from the system for you they're actually specially designed to remove their own type of software okay now what if you don't want to use that particular software and you've have you've not got a, an antivirus program and it's another particular type of program let's just say Adobe uh, Photoshop or something like that well you can use programs like Revo Uninstaller okay now there is a free version but I'm going to be using the pro version and also we're going to be using search everything so let's get started anyway and once we've got this open uh, as you can see here let me just quickly uh, downsize that a bit so you can see now normally uh, the method of uninstalling is to go to uh, the start button here control panel and uninstall a program and people try to remove it from here and what can happen is sometimes this can cause a problem now nine times out of ten you can uninstall programs from here and have no problems whatsoever but sometimes you may have a problem and then you really are in a bit of a tight squeeze to get it fixed okay so by using Revo uninstaller what we're going to do is we're going to remove Kaspersky. Now there's a numerous different ways of going about this inside Revo Uninstaller Pro. You've got the false uninstall which if I click on this and show you you can actually use the safe mode method or the moderate method or the advanced method okay and this will remove all the remnants that are left behind. You would then go to the path or folder of that um, particular program that you want to remove i.e. Kaspersky in this case we're not going to use this method um, because uh, we're going to do it another way um, but you can do if you're having issues use the false method okay now the uninstall method is the same thing but slightly different uh, we're going to create a registry backup and a restore point and what that will do is it will start to do a scan click accept there and here you can see we've got the option to do moderate or advanced and we're going to do the advanced because I want all the options to remove all the remnants on this system okay so we're going to go next and uh, we want to take all the ticks out of here because this we don't want to leave any of this stuff on the system we want to completely remove it so if you want to reinstall it because you, you're having issues that's what you want to do okay you don't want anything left behind so we're going to click on remove there and it's just validating the installation and then it will start to remove all of the uh, remnants there. So it wants to reboot the system, okay. So I'm just going to say no here for now and, uh, and continue uh, scanning for anything that's on there, okay, before I did any reboot on the system. It hasn't found any leftovers so let me just quickly reboot the system and then we'll come back to Revo afterwards. So let's quickly reboot here. Okay so now we're back at the desktop. Now the other part of the process is to use something like everything and this will search your system for any remnants that are left behind. Now normally um, Revo Uninstaller Pro will do quite a good job at removing virtually everything off the system if not all so sometimes you don't have to use this but in some circumstances some programs are pretty difficult to remove and this will be coming in very handy when you're searching for certain names up here okay so for instance if it was a uh, Kaspersky you would um, type in here Kaspersky something like that 
and then that will give you a list of files that are named Kaspersky okay and you can use other names in there as well like antivirus and stuff like that and just go through the motions and just to try to find anything with Kaspersky in it okay or any type of uh, remnants that are related to that program but as you can see Revo's done a pretty good job but this is a great way of rooting out any particular files that are left behind another thing you can do uh, which is really going um, into it a little bit is going into the registry and uh, type in reg edit and then open up the registry and you can also come in here and uh, you go to edit and then find and then you could actually push Kaspersky in there but I'm pretty sure because um, we've used everything it will actually find all the remnants in there okay so we'll see if there's anything in here related to Kaspersky and if there was I would remove it so you can see here there is something and uh, we can remove that so that's not a problem so we're going to remove that here we need to do here is just have a look on the side here just to make sure where it is so I'm just going to pull this to one side so I can see what's going on here and I'm going to delete that file okay now you've got to be very very careful when messing around in a registry if something goes wrong it will mess up your system okay so make sure you know what you're doing if you're going to be playing around in a registry and if you don't know what you're doing you always want to make sure that you back up first okay now obviously a Revo Uninstaller will make a backup um, but you can make a backup um, here okay and you can export your registry here and make a registry backup which I would advise you to do before you start uh, messing around okay so the way you would do that if you want me to quickly show you um, we just come up to computer here and then export and then you would call this backup and you can put this on your desktop and just back that up and as you can see here that will back up the registry for you okay and you can see it's 114 megabytes in size now yours will be bigger than that depending on the the amount of uh, stuff you have on your PC um, but we're just gonna do a Kaspersky and we're gonna do that again let that do it scan and you can see here scan with Kaspersky antivirus it's uh, found something there and we're gonna delete that now what you need to do next is go to your edit and find next and it will keep finding Kaspersky on there okay so you can see here Kaspersky lab driver and then once you've done that you're pretty much good to go you can reboot the system and then try to reinstall your software if that is what you was trying to do and if you're not trying to reinstall it and you want to reinstall another antivirus program that's what you can do as well okay now this could be a case of uh, other programs as well but that's how you completely uninstall uh, any piece of software on a Windows operating system so I think that's going to be about it guys I hope you found this useful my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you like the video and you found it useful then hit the thumbs up sign and if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos then hit the subscribe button guys okay and I shall see you again in the next video so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support have a great weekend bye for now